Okay, welcome back to Cry Light and Magic by Akula. I noticed I listened to the last one and I used a lot of ums and it was kind of distracting. I'll try not to do that this time. I almost said um, by the way. So here we are uh, in our early window. Um, excuse me. I'm gonna just going to play around with some stuff the way I... I'm going to go through is how I learned it. Down in the bottom here are scenes that you can use to, um, they're basically pre-created, and I tend to use some of them, not all the time, depending on the mood I'm in. You have landscapes, you have space scenes you can um, add, what's called indoor and indoor scene. Most You may have seen this scene around. It has different, it has a room with different lighting, basically, if you can, as you can see. Lighting scene has a bunch of lighting setups that you can use. I, I, I tend to use these every now and then. Um, packaging, it's kind of uh, if you're doing some kind of um, advertising, I guess you can use these packaging scenes and they, they're kind of set up for different things. There's logos. So there's just a bunch of cool stuff in here that you can do. Um, and it shows you kind of good examples. It's a good place to start when you're learning. So let's just pick one for fun. I want to pick my favorite, which is 3D Beam. And we're just going to add it to the display. I basically double clicked on this and it showed up. In Under Edit, excuse me, under View, there's something called Show Production Frame. You click on that. That's basically the production frame we have. You'll notice now over here on the right, there's all kinds of stuff. Is Senior's Camera, Infinite Plane, which has been added automatically. So a couple spotlights, a distant light, uh, the current plane, and a group which has a bunch of these little um, marbly looking things. So we're just going to do a quick render to show you how the rendering looks. There's two ways you can do it. You can grab the camera and just hold it there and then it'll kind of render out. It's going to take a second. Uh, this is kind of cool. I haven't done anything. Sometimes I'll just uh, open up these scenes. In fact, there's a couple of scenes in my art so I've used this and then basically get rid of these little I don't know what they are <laughs> and uh, add my uh, models to it and use the lighting. It's pretty neat. Um, this is co this is a local render. You can do small renders also. To clear it you just click on the arrow key and it'll clear out. Mm, just to show you how the render room works, this is the render room. It's a quick thing. If I wanted to render I'd hit render here. It would do the same thing pretty much. There we go again. This is where you'd actually go to render it So if you wanted to save it. So we'll give it a second to render. It's actually rendering on good. So if I was going to save it right now, I'd just go File, Save As, and it'd save as the BMP in this case. Over here, since we're in the render room, I'll go ahead and talk about it because it's kind of cool. There's two sections to the render room. There's the normal lighting set, which I call the normal lighting section, and global illumination section. If you're using skylights, indirect lights, um, you use this section. Um, right now we're at anti—I can't say this word anti azeline whatever. Anyway, I usually put this to good. If you put it on none, or when you're just testing, it, it things render faster. Uh, and then bump maps, trans, uh, light through trans means light through transparency, means the light will pass through it. Transparency means it'll show things that are transparent. If you d disable any of these, those won't work anymore. Like if you don't want the bumps for the bump, your bump map not to work, you just disable that. Uh, we'll talk about global illumination later. Click here for your output. This is your output size, um, DPI. You can change this to change your. Uh, um, size of the image that you're going to output. Uh, this is the camera you're outputting. There's only one. You can have more than one camera. This is the file format you're outputting at, and these are the basic file formats. I usually do TIFF or for my initial and JPEG, of course. And if you're doing movies, which we're not going to show you, to use that section. See, I don't know how long I've been talking. So we're back here again. Uh, if you select this over here, it also selects this. You can See, now you have your up, down, and right. So if I wanted to move stuff around, these are the camera controls. So if I want to kind of bank it, see how I'm banking, it would come up. Come again, now we're beneath it. Um, 
forward, back, up and down. You know, pretty simple. And this is kind of a funky one. I always get it mixed up. So here we are. I'm going to move in a little bit and do a render. You can also move with the hand and then this is just zoom. I'm going to zoom out here. And uh, that's it for this. Hopefully I taught you something. Good luck.